The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Okay, so our witcher has picked up a new job. He had to go and head to that village and try to figure out what their problem was. Something had been killing the villagers. The crones had sent him to there to figure out their problem and to solve it. He gets there and finds that there's some sort of a curse with a tree over in the distance. So we're heading there now to go and try and figure out what that is, see if we can solve the problem. But the villager, the, the alderman, has mentioned that it's been going on for a couple of years, but he also mentions about having been smacked for approaching a tree when he was a child. So clearly it's been going on for more than a couple of years. I wonder how many of the children living in the orphanage came from that village. I'm blanking on what its name was. I would assume that this village is like a protectorate of the crones. And maybe it might be the only one. But that doesn't mean that the other villages in the area go out a little bit further. You find other villages that you... Now, there are bodies everywhere, by the way. If you go out further, you're not necessarily... You're going to maybe find other villages at least know of the legend of the Trail of Treats and send their children out that way. The Elderman also mentioned that there was, it was the war that awoke this evil under the tree. And that's something we see in a couple of different areas in this game. The war has, I mean, I don't know what he means by the, as a werewolf guarding the place. I don't know quite what he means by saying that the war awoke it, but we have seen instances where the war has gone and had a result of causing monsters to be, you know, like, you know, just be. I would imagine the biggest one is the infestation of necrophages that seem to be everywhere. The drowners and all that go, and the rot fiends, all that. They all are all over the place eating the corpses of the dead on the battlefields. So it's like, oh, okay, there's a rather direct cause of the war resulting in there being more monsters. There's another, there was a hunter several episodes back, back in White Orchard, I think it was, who had mentioned that the war has resulted in a lot of dogs, have their owners being killed, and the dogs going feral. So they're running around attacking people. And, uh, I mean, there's another example of the war resulting in... I mean, I wouldn't call dogs monsters or animals in their... I don't know, I guess they were domesticated until their owners died. So then they went all killy. I don't know why a werewolf is protecting this shrine here. I'm guessing maybe... I, you know, I don't, I don't have the answer to what killed... Um, what killed the Baron's wife's horse... Because Geralt tracked it up to a bog, not the uh, not the bog that we just came out of, but to the border of a swamp, and there was some monster that had killed the horse, tore it up. I wonder if this werewolf was the was that creature. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm going to cut my microphone once we get into this cave, because even though it won't be a cutscene as soon as we get in there, there will be something you want to hear.
Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt. For I defy them. Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I kept the balance. The crones killed me. And cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circling Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows. Helplessly sliding more rest. You must know the crones pretty well. They are Velen's curse. The year all through seven years. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from a broth of human flesh. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. women, children even, lying dead on this hill. Did they want to destroy you? To nature, to the forest and earth, all death is alive. Every death is evil. I cry. I will. None are listen. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here. In fetters of magic, I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of things. The children, I know all. I know I what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can be a gear. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules. To our serving. They shall all die. Let them be saved. The crones. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live conceived. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. I saw women, children to nature. I cry. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will find them. Free them. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape, a rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed, a bear wild and free, in meadows pasture caught, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these, and bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains, and bring me a mount. 
When I live, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. Okay, we are faced with kind of <laughs> a bit of a problem here. So we arrive at this tree, the Whispering Hillock, and, well, the thing that we encountered beneath of it, beneath it, not quite what I was expecting to find. It is some sort of a, some kind of a monster. Now, yeah, the first time I played this game, I took look, one look at that thing and said, I cannot let this thing live, and I killed it. But, there is a problem. Which side are you going to take? Now, the crones are, well, clearly not a force for good. They may occasionally do good for other purposes, but it's usually incidental. This thing, though, is a little bit of a harder-to-read book can't quite figure out what its intentions are. It wants to get set free. It's the enemy of the crones, so it's possible that it's not the evil creature that they are. That they simply maybe took it out as some sort of a power grab. It's also possible that they killed it because it was maybe even more evil than they were. So, they killed its body and then imprisoned its soul in that heart beneath the tree. So there's a ritual we can perform to go and find the grave, which is this. You probably can't hear it, but Gerald is mentioning that the bones don't look human. What it is, I don't know. We don't get to see it. He doesn't comment further. We also need to get raven feathers. We already had those. And then we need to go get a black mare. Then we can perform a ritual to set the thing free. Now, it promises that if we do this, it will free the orphans. The orphans, well, they're prisoners. They, well, the crones don't have good things in mind for those kids. The spirit beneath the tree definitely seems evil. But then so do the crones. So, is there a right answer to this? The spirit promises and will in fact free the children but at what other cost is there hmm it's a tough one because the first time i played this game i went and i killed the spirit in this playthrough i'm going to do the opposite i'm going to go free it see what happens there there's a rock golem here way too high a level for me i can't do much damage to it I guess I could have tried bombs or something, but it doesn't seem worth it, so I moved on. <laughs> you gotta confuse them with trickery, and then ride them all the way back. It doesn't take that long. None of this stuff is very far away from the tree. More bodies everywhere. Ready. We can start. Let me fly, my raven wings. Lay wings amidst the feathers. Place all beneath my heart. My heart you must pierce. And break the steed. For raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once 
once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. made a mistake black beauty <laughs> yeah, some kind of a demon perhaps Geralt's done worse though hasn't he or he's worked for worse no gods nor masters watch over Velen the land is no man's he who wants to survive must seek his own protectors <laughs> <laughs> 